In this tutorial, I'm going to model a Chinese dragon dance dragon. Before modeling in Marlin Designer, I have made a concept drawing with front and side view to help define the shape and design of the dragon head. And I'm going to import the drawing into the 2D window by drag and drop. Let's start with the mouth. Use the polygon tool to trace the shape of the lip from the side view. The concept I draw is rough, but for modeling, I want to make the side edges as parallel as possible. Use Edit Curve Point tool to adjust the curve points. Holding down D hotkey, and you can adjust the segment points as curve points. For the jar, I'm only tracing half side. Right click on the middle line and choose Unfold with Metrical Editing. And adjust the size. Make a copy of the shape for the palette. And arrange the pattern pieces in 3D window. I want the top shape to be wider on the back, but with the same width in the front. Add a point for the side pattern to define where to separate for the top and bottom. And use free sewing tool to sew the pieces together. The side pieces edge is not long enough. We also need to increase the length to make space for the lip. And the extended amount is calculated by the side edge length minus the existing sewing length. Let's also fix the shape after extension. And adjust the sewing lines. Repeat the same process for the bottom. Duplicate the patterns, place on top and bottom, and sew to the side. Strengthen the pattern pieces to reinforce them. Turn off ground collision and gravity in simulation properties. Simulate. For fabric, I'm using trim fusible rigid for top and bottom pattern pieces. And full grain leather for side pieces. Reinforce the side even more to make the edges sharper. Select the side pieces and turn on bond. I'm choosing the reinforcement pocket bone preset. Simulate again to see the change in shape. Import the structure of the head modeled in ZBrush. If you search the making of Chinese dragon dance dragon head, the structure inside is also hard surface made with wires and paper mache. Place the mouth under the head structure. Adjust the top and bottom pattern shape a bit with the head shape using the top view. Simulate again and fix the intersections. Since I want a fairly tight fit to capture the shape of the head, the Line Avatar tool would be a good way to quickly figure out the pattern shapes. With Line Avatar tool selected, click on Avatar surface to make segment points. Hold down Ctrl and click to make curve points. And design where to place the seam lines. This process is similar to retopology. You want to draw large shapes and divide the shape later if needed. Keep in mind to capture the edge loop near the eyeball. The points can also be adjusted using Edit Line Avatar tool. I'm satisfied with the shape, and it's time to turn the shapes into pattern pieces. 
Using the Flatten tool, select all areas to be flattened, then press the Enter key on keyboard. Copy and mirror paste the pattern shapes and sew both sides together. Simulate. Adjust segment points and make the corners 90 degree angles to smooth out the curvature of the edge lines. Sew the head patterns with the mouth. For the front two patterns, I want to maintain the angle of the nose, so additional pattern pieces are needed. Extend the bottom of the nose. Change side segment type to extend and select create internal line option. Select the internal line and choose cut and sew. Sew the bottom to the lip. Draw a triangle shape. Sew to the lip and simulate. After draping, adjust the shape to match the gap. Select the eyeball geometry, right click and deactive avatar. Select the edges that makes the loop for the eye and find the total line length. You can easily get the total length of the selected edge lines in the property editor under 2D line lengths. Use lips to to make a circle pattern with the diameter of the 2D line lengths we got. Rotate the pattern to one of the second point of the circle pattern is aligned with another second point. Freeze all other pattern pieces and only leave the circle active. Use Reset 3D Arrangement function in the toolbar of 3D window. By doing this, the segment points will also align in the 3D window, which makes sewing easier. Use Line 3D Pattern tool to trace the outline of the eye. Convert the line into internal line. To clean up the line on 2D side, let's first use the Optimize Curve Point feature to reduce the amount of curve points. And edit the curve points to smooth out the line. Select the internal line and cut. Delete the actual pattern shapes. Reactive the eye geometries. Finally, use Paint Lasso tool to paint the points around the eye and attach it to the avatar. And simulate. Let's continue to fill the back of the head. Use line after two again to draw the shapes in 3D window. And turn the shapes into patterns using the flatten tool. Sew everything together. Extend the bottom. In 3D window, trace the shape using Line 3D Pattern tool. Cut and delete actions. Using Edit Sewing tool to select the sewing relationship for the piece in front of it. Right click, add point to pattern on start, and we can easily use the second point generated to find where to start sewing. Next, define the shape of the last piece and connect all pieces together to make a circle shape in the back.
find the circumference of the back circle and create a circle pattern. Flatten the top of the circle a bit. Sew everything together using MN sewing tool. Use line 3D pattern tool to define the placement of the horn. Use internal ellipse tool to draw an ellipse shape based on the 3D line. Once again, we can use the side wheel drawing to trace the shape for the horn. Duplicate the shape and sew to the ellipse. Increase the pressure value to inflate. Strengthen function can also help you reinforce the shape. We have finished with creating the base shape of the head. Next, I'm going to add some details to decorate the dragon head. Let's start with the tongue. Use the jar piece to draw the shape of the tongue. Only to draw half of the shape and unfold from the middle. Use the side drawing to draw the curvature of the top. Create a sewing relationship and simulate. We can use the bond feature again to reinforce the side to help maintain the curvature of the tongue. Create a rectangle shape based on the tongue pattern measurements and sew the tongue to the mouth. For the side decorations, it is also easier to figure out the shape in drawing and trace in the 2D window. and use the mouth corner to get the curvature of the end and sew to the mouth corner. Repeat this process for the other piece. It is not ideal to sew too many pieces to the same edge since each pattern has their own thickness. To help laying them out flat, a middle strip is needed. Model strip pieces based on the edge lengths of mouth side. Offside along curve and make two internal lines in the middle. Sew this strip onto the side of the mouth. Right click and choose Superimpose Over to quickly lay it out in 3D. Repeat this process for the interpiece. Copy the lip pattern and place them on the outside. Offset pattern outline to increase the border. Sew the internal lines to the side strips. and sew the side patterns to the internal line of the strip. The outer layer side pieces is created using the same process. I'm going to speed up the video to show you the build process.
For the horn, I want to make a silk wrapping effect. Select the pattern pieces, right click and choose layer clone over. Increase the shrinkage depth and warp value to inflate the patterns. Assign silk crepe DNA fabric preset and simulate. Reduce the shrinkage value to reduce the amount of wrinkles. Change the color of the fabric to gold and change the material type to fabric silk satin. Let's also trace the eyebrow shape. And sew it to the eyelid. For the patch on the nose bridge, I'm going to use the Line 3 Pattern tool to draw the shape. Convert to internal line. Fix the flow of the line in 2D window. And use Trace 2 to turn it into pattern piece. Use Superimpose Over to lay it out in 3D window. The ball inside is using a beach ball pattern with a stiffer fabric like leather assigned to it. And also changing the material type to metal. Use Tech 2 to constrain the ball to the center of the tongue. We can also tag the bottom of the tongue to the jar. Let's give the mouse interior pattern pieces a negative pressure value so they curve outward. Finally, model the beard. Offset the bottom pattern pieces edge and create some internal lines. Model some strips. And sew onto the internal lines. 